So I just reviewed every single round from the grand finals of I Am Cologne to take a closer look at the utility that was being thrown. In this video, I'm going to show off the most common and most interesting utility thrown by both teams trying to lift the trophy. But before we dive in, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. So, Skins Monkey is an automated CS2 trading site that provides an instant way for you to get new skins. All you have to do is select your old skins that you don't want anymore and then pick out some fresh ones to trade for. It's as easy as that. And right now you could get a free $5 if you use code TACTICS on the site. And finally, you could get up to a 35% deposit bonus when using my code. So thanks again to Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. Links in the description. With the first map being Nuke, Navi started off with an explosive A site execute that involved a smoke for Mini, a top hut Molly, and a back site Molly later on, paired with a couple of flashes to help them get onto the site. Ema starts us off by breaking the glass and then climbing up the ladder, immediately throwing the top hut Molotov on the fly. Just after that, Wonderful ends up throwing a team safe flash, followed with a back site Molly, and then another flash to help his teammates fly out onto that site. Even though it worked out well for them and got them a double entry, the post plant ended up going the way of Vitality, and we were off to the races for a pretty scrappy match. This execute is used by pretty much every single professional team as a quick pace change or as a late round hit. However, Vitality seemed much more prepared for it the second time around on a full buy, with Spinks moving into this corner behind the smoke, ready to backstab them during the hit, as you can see right here. Moving back a little bit, the first full buy versus full buy, Navi opened up with the slant smokes. They throw them like this, but my personal favorite way to do that is from this corner right here, and I'll aim along the right side of this light and do a simple jump throw, and then down to this railing and do the same thing. That way, if you want, you can throw the top mini smoke as well from the same exact position just by going to the left of that light. Now obviously these can be used to get down into secret and threaten that area of the map while also giving a lot more space in yard. However, the pros really love to use this smoke to slip into mini at unexpected timings. This round from Ema is just one of many examples as to how impactful this can be. As you just saw, the CTs also like to blow these smokes up from time to time to get information on anyone crossing to secret. But Navi were prepared for this and took advantage of it by peeking from Squeaky and having a player also slip through the smoke at the exact same time, making for a very easy sight crunch with the potential for two opening picks. But that's enough about the outside smokes. Let's move over towards ramp and watch how Bit likes to hold this area down. One interesting thing that I noticed is while he has $7,000, he's still rocking the MP9. And he ends up smoking off close here so he can play up in front of it to make sure no one is disrespecting it and walking through. Now, they do decide to blow the smoke up, but luckily Bit decided to walk out of there just before they blew it. And right afterwards, he took advantage of that misinformation they were given and boom, Alexi B flashes him right through that smoke to where he picks up a very easy kill and almost a second on the Sphinx. So let's go ahead and move on to map two, which was Dust 2. Early on into the game, I noticed Bit throwing an instant long corner smoke from this spawn. However, Vitality dealt with this perfectly by doing a double molly setup that covers all the way over to blue. This makes it very difficult for the T's to get out, and if paired with some well-timed flashes, it's probably going to net you full long control. Moving on with Vitality's long success, they also had a pretty simple but effective pick play for pushing car through long doors. Apex is going to initially flash flames into long doors, then he's going to line up a second flash to blind anyone back towards car, which perfectly times out a peak to get an opening frag. Now, Alexi was able to circumvent all of that long pressure by calling a nice B split that ends up working wonders. Notice how Alexi is the only mid player in this, creating all of the pressure by himself with one simple mid to B smoke that you can see right here. Now, they don't have the best guns, but they're still able to get onto site with a post plant. And of course, Alexi is able to clean up the rest after Wonderful got those opening entries. Later on in that same half, Vitality found yet another innovative way to get an opening frag. They waited just long enough for someone to get out of doors, and then they broke the corner smoke, allowing Zaiwu to get an easy pick and then fall back. And speaking of smoke breaks, Navi had a pretty cool play on CT, where the cat player throws an HE into the mid smoke, allowing the two mid players to peek and get a frag onto cat. Not a bad idea to catch someone off guard. When it came time for Mirage, the utility was pretty standard. The mid-rounding and improvisation is what won this series. There were a couple of set executes, like this one on pistol round, but those were few and far between. Faster paced A plays favored quick flash pops out of ramp as opposed to full smoke and utility executes. 
Navi really enjoys going for splits with one lurker towards mid. In this example, you're going to have Alexi going all the way down towards Connector with all of the utility at his disposal, where he's able to slip through that smoke right as his teammates come out and start to distract the enemy on the A site. He's then able to walk right behind the stairs player and get a very easy pick for a simple A site take. To set all of that up, you have JL throwing the instant window smoke, along with Wonderful throwing the cross smoke as well as the connector smoke. I also noticed a very common play on both teams where one of the CT players would drop into underpass, smoking it off, and then waiting to have a teammate throw a perfect flash over mid to peek and get a few kills. This works especially well in this situation in overtime where JL is able to bring down two off the back of Ema's flash. Moving on to Inferno, one of the most utility heavy maps in the pool, Vitality absolutely bullied Navi's B site defense, one that I consider to be one of the best in the world. For example, in the first full by round, Mezzi mollies out top car, forcing Alexi all the way through it into a very easy hit. In the background, Apex has a flash lined up outside of T-Spawn, ready to full blind anyone else up on top car, which they take full advantage of getting another opening pick. Naturally, Navi adjusted to be a bit more passive on that car angle, but Vitality simply just erased JL from sandbags with a couple of HEs. Right after Zywin and Mezzi threw those, they peeked and brought down both players for a devastating double entry that completely shut down the site. It really is a tough day in the office when the enemy IGL is doing things like this on Banana, somehow managing to find two while blind, getting a third, and just like that, they're on their way to a 10 to half. Navi tried their best to dig themselves out of a gigantic hole that they dug, but in the end, Vitality were the ones that lifted that IEM Cologne trophy. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this type of condensed utility review, let me know down in the comments below so that I know to make more on the next big tournament that comes up in CS2.